some people uh, don't really like wildlife art, but they like my art, but they like my art with no wildlife in it the best. And I could string you along uh, by saying, find the creature, find the bird or the mouse or the, or the dragonfly. There isn't any, there's no fauna. There's just flora and barbed wire. <laughs> And uh, it's actually uh, our, uh, the edge of our meadow. Uh, and I didn't put up the barbed wire, but the farmer that owned the land before put it up. This is what other people call weeds. I call them meadow flowers. It's just such a treat in September, driving the, road, the back roads of, of Ontario. You don't get it as much here, but you get this great treat in the springtime in Ontario of, of the forest wildflowers, the, before the leaves come out on the trees. And then in late summer, Indian summer and so on, you get this gr great display of asters. There's two species of asters in that. There's goldenrod, there's milkweed, a, f a few blades of grass. But once again, I played with it. I just orchestrated the, the whites and the flowers and the shadows so that you get this feeling of orchestration that there's rhythms going through it. I dislike coleslaw, the blah, 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 blah. I do, uh, although I, had, I kind of can see the point of a Jackson Pollock, it's not my favorite. I like, like the group of seven, like A.Y. Jackson, there's passages and pathways moving, moving through. And even though seemingly a lot of detail, there's passages and pathways moving through that that I've carefully orchestrated.